Oh, hey girl, you want to get compliments? I got you, girl. These fragrances that I'm going to share with you have gotten me so many compliments lately, you guys. So I think these fragrances shine in the cold in that winter time. Ya tu sabes. Okay, let's go ahead and start. I am going to start off with a no brainer, and that is Delina. Delina in winter. Claro, mamacita, of course, yes. This fragrance, you guys, is that type of it, girl. She knows her fragrances. Ya tu sabes, she wants to be sex sexy and sensual. The people that will compliment you more on these, I feel like it's going to be men. So when I wear Delina, you guys, I always get compliments by my husband. And I always get compliments, like, all the time. Um, I think that it's because it's loud. It's kind of tart. It has that lychee in it. Does this have lychee? It has a, a tartness to it, it with vanilla in the background. But, but the vanilla is sitting like, she's very proper, you know? She's sitting in the back very proper. And that rose and that tartness, I don't know if it has lychee, but I think it has lychee. I'm not so sure. Comes in the front and she's like yeah girl i got you you know but the vanilla sits very tight very very tight this i prefer over delina exclusive um my mom used to have delina exclusive and it would just bother my nose but mm, my nose has been changing lately so i'm thinking about revisiting delina exclusive but this you guys with that rhubarb this will get you compliments of course we all know i i think we all know right i do have a substitution for this when i don't want to smell super tart the other one that i'm gonna share with you guys is a little bit more creamier but this one is sexy yet to say it's kind of like um guidance it's kind of like very feminine very sensual very oh she knows what she's doing very i see okay so delina has to be the number one well worth the money it's kind of expensive you can get it for cheaper on uh, retail sites but it's well worth your cha-ching okay this one that i'm gonna pull up y'all has gotten me compliments by men okay and i wore this to go to denny's and the manager there he just couldn't help himself for real like you can you know when somebody wants to tell you something but then he doesn't but then they do but like that so i went up to pay and he was just like i just have to tell you you smell divine i don't think he used the word divine i'm making that up but he did use you smell like really good and that wasn't it that was not it you guys so that was in the morning okay i did spray heavy then in the afternoon, I did go to Walmart and this guy, I'm shopping like, nah, you know, and this guy's like, oh, you smell really good. Gracias, you know, gracias. So men like this. My husband, not so much. My husband likes this type of fragrances. My husband really doesn't like kind of vanilla, kind of creamy. So what does this smell like, Erica? This smells of, it smells like a latte to me. Like a creamy coffee, chocolate, no, not chocolate. Well, yeah, milky, like creamy, like frosted, like, you know, like whipped cream, something like that. But let me see. Let me spray again because it seems like I'm just talking out of my ass, but I'm not. It's a creamy latte caramel take did i say did i say chocolate maybe white chocolate that type of fragrance y'all just trust me on it okay men like this men love this except my man he doesn't love it but it smells really good it hangs on to you it's well it's a well blended fragrance it's very creamy very edible very gourmand if you like those type of fragrances you're not gonna be disappointed by this and this is bianco latte Hence, latte, because it smells like a latte. It smells really nice, you guys. This is a fragrance that it's a love-hate relationship that I have with it. Um, I don't know why, but I do. So this is Love Don't Be Shy by Kaylian. This is heavy caramel. I realize that caramel fragrances... 
you know i'm just like mm, i don't know but this gets me compliments like crazy crazy amount of compliments you guys although i might say that lately when the way i've been pairing it it has gotten me compliments on itself yeah it has gotten me compliments too but the thing i don't like about this is the neroli it's like too sharp i find that this fragrance is sharp and the orange blossom is too much it doesn't seem like it's well blended kind of like bianco latte you know how bianco latte is very well blended it's creamy this is sharp so i did ask for christmas for the pink uh oriana so i heard that that one is more settled on the orange blossom hopefully i'll like that one better because i do like the dna of this i just don't like this one as much because i find it to be very sharp but i wore this y'all paired well i'm gonna share with you you have to wait you have to wait because i'm gonna tell you what i paired it with that i got followed down costco okay <laughs> and i'm gonna share with that with i'm gonna share that with you right now but before that, remember I told you that I had a substitute for the Delina? It's this. This is Carolina Herrera, very good girl. I think I always talk about this fragrance. This blends so well with my skin chemistry that it makes, it just makes me smell really nice. And I always get compliments all the time, all the time. It does, it never fails. You know when, when you're like, mm, what should I wear? I want to wear, I want to wear something to get... Getting told that you smell so good is the best compliment anybody can have, in my personal opinion. I do, I do wear fragrances to be known as that girl that smells really good. Like, I love, love, love compliments like that. And I know you do too. I know that, I guess. Anyways, very good girl, very delicious fragrance. My husband loves when I wear this perfume. Every time I wear it, he always tells me that I smell like honey. So to his nose, this turns honey-esque. You know what I mean? And also, it has that rose, but very thick. This is, this is to me, a thick vanilla that hugs a rose, but a modern rose. So the, the roses I'm sharing with you, they're modern. Because I do not like the other type of roses. Like, this is the type of rose I like. Um, modern, okay? So this hugs that rose in creaminess and vanilla and milkiness, and it just makes you smell amazing. And it goes for all year too, okay? In the winter, I don't know why, but it's been shining and I've been getting my, it, okay, it sits around there. When it settles down, it's like about there. So people will be able to smell you, especially if you put it on your clothes, on your cardigan, a cardigan on your scarf, girl they are going to smell you. I recommend this all the time. It's very uh, sexy, very sexy, very good girl by Carolina Herrera. Okay. This one is hormonal. This is uh, Juliana's perfume. This is a dupe for the infamous Baccarat Rouge. I'm going to say I get compliments not as much with the original. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. But it is the compliments that I get is by Juliana's perfume, Aurora. Why? No lo sé. I don't know if this is a little bit louder. But when I smell this on other people, it makes me think. When I smell Baccarat on other women, it makes me think of a more masculine fragrance. You know what I mean? My God, my hand. More masculine. When I wear it, I always try to pair it with something very, 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 very feminine. And that is with Miss Dior. So this is a floral fragrance, super feminine, that you guys are probably all wear, wear, all wear of, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Miss Dior, very floral, very nonchalant. She's a everywhere you can wear it, anywhere you can wear, with anybody you can wear it. And pair these two together, y'all. Por favor. You're going to be the most sexiest beat. Hi, this smells so good. I got this for Christmas for my husband. And I asked for it. I was like, oh, I want Miss Dior. And he delivered uh, the perfume. So I paired Baccarat with Miss Dior. But I wear this one because this one lasts a little bit longer. And it's more louder. And baby, 
baby. Do you want to be known as the most feminine woman in the entire world? Okay. You can also mix in some vanilla because sometimes I feel, I'm like, what if Baccarat had, a, had more vanilla, prominent vanilla? I think it would be really nice. So anyways, those are immaculate together. Very feminine, very delicious. Eden Sparkly Lychee. Not a great performer amazing scent it smells a lot it acts a lot like a body spray when you spray it on your clothes you will be smelling it the whole day but y'all i'm going to share with you how i mix this okay and i got compliments and something really weird happened yesterday but i'm gonna tell you i mixed these two. Oh yeah oh yeah mm -hmm. I had so many of my friends be like, oh, you smell so good. Oh, you smell so good. Because I don't really get compliments by my friends. But my friends were like, oh, you smell really nice. You smell so good. Wait, it was these three, actually. Was it? Let me think. I don't want to mislead you guys, but I think it was the three of these. So I put this one on first. Okay. Okay. Like, you have to shower with Kaoli Eden Sparkly. Okay. Um, you have to shower with this. And then I went in with this and then I topped it off with this. But the one that settled down at the end of the day and I could smell the most were these. So these, you guys, girls, boys, friends, dogs, sisters, mamas, they're going to get you compliments with these. Um, the mixture of this is to die for. It's phenomenal. I don't know. Like, let's mix it right now. Yeah. Okay. So let's mix two sprays of Kaoli Eden Apple. I mean, Eden Sparkly Lychee. It smells so good. So, so good. And two of these, okay? Let's, we'll, we'll wait till, I'll come back to it, okay? Because I don't remember exactly what it was, but I do remember the dry down smelling a lot of a uh, very good girl, but I'll tell you how it smells exactly right now. That got me chased down Costco. I don't know if I said this already. Did I say this? No, okay. I'm going to act like I didn't. If not, I'll just take this off. But you guys, I mixed this with this. And I went to Costco. My happy little ass was like mm, shopping, eating all the samples. Because that's the only reason I like going to Costco. To eat all the samples up, girlfriend. Oh, yeah. I'm the one that goes in and gets them. Can I have another one? And another one? And I actually come out from Costco feeling full. So I pair these two together. Okay? And this lady at Costco... She was a worker there. She was following me. She's like, is that you? It smells so good. Gracias. Gracias, mamacita. So, okay. Then I go out the door, y'all. When I'm headed out the door, the lady, you know that you have to show the receipt? She was like, you smell really nice. What is it that you're, that you're wearing? So, I'm just like, I'm wearing pistachio yum. And she was like, huh? Kind of like, what? what? I'm like from Kiali and I'm wearing Love Don't Be Shy. Let me write it down. She wrote it down and she said that I smelt... She said that her favorite fragrance was um, from Philosophy Cashmere, something like that. And she said that that reminded her of that one. But I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I've never smelled it. I don't know what it smells like, right? So. Divine. Oh, my God, y'all. You, you guys have to do that mixture, okay? And especially in your pulse, like in, in your skin, I see when it's warm and you come up to the person, you know, just imagine you're hugging. You smell me? Mm -hmm. You smell me? Okay. Just imagine. It smells. Bon appetito. It's, I, and I'm not even staring you guys wrong. Like, I promise it smells that, that, that good. It smells phenomenal. So what does it smell like, Erica? Okay, so very good girls in the front. She's like, you know, like, I got you, girl. And this one, she's in the back. She's like, I'm just helping. I'm helping you. I'm helping in the back, right? So it's a tart rose. Very sugary. Very feminine. Very juvenile. Not juvenile, but it's not a mature fragrance, you know? It's, it's very juvenile. You took away the body spray 
scent to it because this one this one leans i know this one leans a little bit body spray so when you mask it with this it doesn't smell like a body spray anymore but oh my god creamy freshy sexy candy-ish modern fresh sexy just a she's just a sexy woman you guys i'm gonna share with you guys a fragrance that i got for 20 dollars at goodwill okay are you ready okay idol so let me tell you what happened we went to goodwill on a friday i think it was and the second day everything in the where you um uh, the glass in the glass part everything was um gonna be half off so this was the uh, $49.99, $50, $50, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So it was sitting flat like this, Idol, the original, Idol Le Parfum. It was just sitting down in the glass like that. So it wasn't very visible, I think. And then I'm looking, and then I look, I, I'm like, oh, Idol, my mom had this, and I, I wasn't a big fan of it at the time. So I asked to smell it, and bitch, I sprayed it on my skin on this part right here, okay? I sprayed it. I woke up the sec. Oh wait, I'm I'm moving. I'm I'm skipping. So I tell the guy, I'm just like, um, no, I'm telling my husband actually. Do you like it? He's like, yeah, it smells. It smells kind of like me, like viejita. But I was like, but it smells really good. Anyways, it settled down. The guy was like, if you come tomorrow, you can get it for uh, fifty percent off. And I was like, okay. It was around six p.m. I think it was. We go the second day uh, on Saturday, which is was gonna be. Uh, 50 percent off and i'm thinking what if they already picked it up and stuff like that i tell my husband go park i mean go um go stand in line and i'll stay with the kids anyways he's like for what when it was time to open there kid you not there was like 11 people in line my husband was the first one what happened there was these girls going directly over there and when my husband got the fragrance for 20 dollars or 25 i don't know how much it was they were like oh you know it's Idol, it's Lancome. So anyways, that's what happened, you guys. So I've been actually wearing it and I enjoy it. I think that it smells um, really good and it's long lasting, like crazy amount of time, right? So yeah, that's what happened, you guys. What was I gonna tell you? I was gonna tell you guys a story. Oh yeah, yesterday, let me tell you what happened yesterday, okay? Yesterday, I went to the Smiths to go buy something. I sprayed a couple of these sprays, but I, I think it has nothing to do with this. Do you know when you're hormonal? Either you can't stand fragrances, right? So there's something hormonal in, your, in you going on, right? Pheromones and shit like that. I go by myself, which I usually don't go by myself to the store ever. I'm always with my kiddos. But yesterday, I left my kids with my 17-year-old. And you guys, I was getting off the car. And this guy was trying to hit on me, right? He was like, what's your number? You know what I had? Let me tell you what happened. I sh took a shower. I didn't even fix my hair. I was wearing my glasses because I wear glasses. And I had some leggings on, some gray dark leggings on that don't scrunch up on the, back, uh, on the butt, nada, okay? Just very normal whatever leggings. And I had a Christmas sweater on. And I had those... um. Those those shoes that, you, that they're claw, like claws that you just put in and that's it, okay? And with my glasses, my, my hair, my curly hair, no makeup, no nada. He's trying to hit up hit on me. He's like, what's your number? And I'm just like, that's weird. I only did a couple sprays of that, of, those, of, of that perfume. I don't think it was a perfume. Like I could barely even smell it. I go inside, I'm trying to go buy some toothpaste, right? A white guy, you guys. White, a white male. I never get on. I never get hit on white men. Never. When I tell you, never is never. Okay. I'm trying to get the toothpaste, and then he's like, "Oh, you know, if you get the app from Smith, you can get it for one dollar or something like that." And I was like, "Really?" And then he's like, "Yeah." He's like, "For that beautiful smile of yours, you're gorgeous." Don't tell my husband, okay? Don't tell him my husband. And I was just like, okay. I grab my toothpaste and go. I'm over here getting the cheese, right? 
me with my cheese and my happy ass. And then there's this other guy asking me for my number. What was it? Anyways, you guys, I don't know what happened. It might seem like, <laughs> should be like, yeah, bitch, you're like, I promise you, I promise you <laughs> that that happened because I don't really get hit on that much like that. But it was crazy. So I was thinking, I'm like, could it be hormonal? Do men know like when you're going to have your period or something? Maybe. I don't know. But anyways, you guys, that's what happened. Thanks for sticking through the story, okay? So that's going to be the end of this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, yeah. See you on the next one. Besitos a ti.